In this segment, you will learn how to replace an outer door panel using Fuser 108B. Benefits of using Fuser 108B for this application include fast declamp time, built-in corrosion protection, uniform bond line control with glass bead technology. Although there are many ways to remove the damaged skin, we have chosen to grind the outside edge and chisel the welded seam. Once all seams have been chiseled apart, remove the damaged skin and begin preparing the flanges of the original door frame. First, straighten all damaged sheet metal with a hammer and dolly. Then grind the surfaces of the original flange where fuser adhesive will be applied. Be sure to grind to the bare metal, removing any rust, e-coat, or galvanized coating. In preparing the new door panel for bonding, section the panel as needed. Start by marking a cut line and remove the excess sections of the panel with an air saw. Be sure to pre-bevel the edges to less than 10 degrees and taper for a smooth transition. Scuff all main surfaces on the outer door panel to which fuser metal bonding adhesive will be applied and remove debris with compressed air. Pre-fit the parts for alignment and begin applying fuser metal bonding adhesive 108B. It is important to note that prior to using any two-component adhesive, seam sealer, or foam, dispense a small amount of material from the cartridge to ensure an even flow of both components. Then attach a mixing tip and dispense a small amount of material until uniformly mixed. This is a key step in all repairs. Apply a 3 8 to 1 half inch bead of fuser metal bonding adhesive to all mating surfaces of the new door skin. Properly position the new door skin. Once positioned, do not pull away from the vehicle. If repositioning is needed, slide the door skin. This maintains proper contact between the door skin and frame. Lightly clamp the frame and door skin together to hold alignment while rolling the hem flanges. The glass beads in the adhesive will prevent you from over-tightening the hems. Remove excess adhesive with a dry rag. Allow to cure for one and a half to two hours. Expect the adhesive to be a little tacky on the surface, as this is a normal property of the adhesive. Grind, DA sand, and scuff the hemmed edges with a scuff pad to remove any remaining adhesive. For an undetectable repair, apply conventional body filler to any section seam. Allow to cure, rough, and block sand, then prime and refinish per paint manufacturer's recommendations. Next, Apply Fuser Anti-Flutter Foam between the door and the intrusion beam to restore the door to pre-loss condition. Allow to set for a few minutes and begin the seam sealing procedure. To duplicate the original factory seam sealer appearance, begin by scuffing the primed surface. Next, apply a fine line of tape to simulate a factory bead. Apply a 1 8 inch bead of Fuser 129 seam sealer. Tool the bead to flatten, then remove the tape while the seam sealer is still wet for a perfect match to that difficult OEM look. Prime and refinish per the paint manufacturer's recommendations. This completes the door skin replacement procedure using Fuser 108B, 121, and 129. For more information, visit www.lore.com slash fuser. Call 877-ASK-LORD or contact your local Fuser distributor.